20 years later and I'm still reaching for sheets more often than Excel. And I'm gonna tell you why. Just a few reasons. This is not a comprehensive list. Also, I know I can see, don't kill me in the comments. Microsoft Excel is the more powerful tool, like full stop. So we can get that out of the way. I know that I'm not trying to convince you otherwise, but what I am trying to convince you of, and I am convinced of myself, is that Sheets does a better job for 90% of the stuff that a lot of people need to use a spreadsheet for. So let's start first with real-time collaboration. I don't do tons of collaboration, but when I do, Sheets is hands down the easier way to go. Excel, you've got an online version now where you can collaborate in much the same way, but there's more friction involved. It's just not natively built for this, and so it is not as easy to get up and go in with. It's kind of like those old Mac versus PC commercials. It's just easier and smoother to do things in Sheets. Secondly, App Script versus VBA. So you can do programming in both of these programs. I think it is undisputed. It's easier to get up and running with some of the App Script stuff that you might need to do versus VBA. I am kind of a low code developer where I know my way around some languages and can get some code stuff up and running. And even for me, VBA is, it's just kind of ugly. It's, it's not readable and AppScript is. AppScript is based off of JavaScript. It basically is modern JavaScript. It's, it's much more readable in terms of the code itself. It's easier to pop up and run something in there. And you know, you can do a lot with VBA, but I've found that it is a lot smoother experience with AppScript. Thirdly, we've got instant access anywhere. So the fact that Sheets was built for cloud-based, online-based spreadsheet work, you really can tell because Excel, yes, the main version is a desktop version and it's more powerful. Then you've got your web version, which is different and you don't even have all your keyboard shortcuts, come on. And then you've got your Mac version, which is different than both of those things. So there's uh, kind of some quirks to all three of those. But Sheets, there's just one version and it's easy to access anywhere you have an internet connection. Now, both of these programs have apps for your smartphones and your tablets. And I just basically wouldn't recommend you try to do anything with that other than viewing some data. Uh, if you're gonna actually be working in a spreadsheet, you need to use, <laughs> you need to use a computer. That's just the way it is. Um, but it is easier to access Sheets and it's a smoother experience. Like that's the common thread. It's just smoother with Sheets for most everything. I'll get into why you would use Excel at the end of this. So let me come back to that. This is the next point. Sharing and permissions are simple. Used to be you would send around spreadsheets in an email. You'd have 14 different versions of it. We all have seen those memes. Well, that's not the case anymore. You can do sharing and collaboration with both of these programs, but it's easier again and smoother with Sheets. It's quite simple to just throw in an email address. The recipient gets that link. It's either editing or viewing or ownership permissions that you're giving them. And it's quite easy for them to click and go in and do whatever they need to in that sheet. You can do it in Excel. It's just not quite as simple. Sheets also plays really nicely when it comes to native integrations with third-party tooling, whether you're actually linking stuff up via app script, which is something that you can do and just write the code for it yourself, or you're using Zapier, Make, N8N, some of these third-party toolings that are built specifically to automate tasks when one thing happens over here, and then you need something to happen in your spreadsheet or vice versa. Not to mention the fact that if you're in the Google Workspace ecosystem, like linking up forms or documents with your spreadsheet data and making that dynamic in real time is quite easy to do as well without getting into any coding. I'm using all kinds of tooling, staying up to date on some of these AI tools. Sheets is by and large the way to link up a spreadsheet to any of those. And you just can't really do the same types of things with Excel. Okay, so when do you need Excel? Well, if you're on a finance team, if you're an accountant and you have to do some advanced financial modeling, if you're using Power Query, stuff like this, where you really need to wrangle some data in ways that while you could do it in Sheets, it's gonna be faster for you to do it in Excel. If you're one of these people, you probably already know that you need Excel and you know whatever specific limitations you have with Sheets are not gonna really work for your use case. But for most operators, founders, marketers, ordinary regular people that are using spreadsheets to do something and make life easier, 
I have found that the easier choice is to stick with Sheets. Pick it up, see how far it takes you, and if you need to pivot over to Excel, you already know like the basics of most everything. The stuff that you don't know that may be more advanced that you need for advanced stuff, pick that up as you go too. Now, what have I missed? What are your favorite parts about either Sheets or Excel? Let me know in the comments. I can make a follow-up more thorough video because this is by no means comprehensive. Let me know your thoughts below. As always, thank you for watching.